Hey guys, it's Erica. We are going to be checking out Seventeen's Ready to Love. I didn't see teasers or teasers pictures for this. I know, and it's like Seventeen, right? But I am very excited to be checking this out. Their last one was Left and Right, I think, right? Like, that was the last Seventeen comeback. So, that one was really, really fun. Ready to Love will probably get emotional, you know. They, they tend to do that. They'll do, like, a really fun comeback when they'll make me cry, when they'll make me feel at home, you know. It just depends, you know. So, but they can do it all. So, no matter what it is, I think I'll enjoy it because I don't know what to expect. But I am very, very excited. So you know what it like up. It's a big cat. Beautiful vocals so far, but at 17 we know this. Okay. Lover or friend? Fr uh, friends to lovers? Interesting that they got like those same colors of car covers. His hair! Oh! How could I forget about choreography? Is he has the jam? I like Bernard's hair too. I like his hair too. Everybody's hair is killer. This. I like my bias's hair too. This is cool too. The set design is so sick. I love the aesthetic of everything. Can I call that like a steady, like grungy pastel? In the rain, let's get it. Oh my god. In the rain. Oh, I can't wait to see like a dance practice. I'm gonna lose my mind. That's cool. That was really dope choreography. This is a long shot. It was a long whole little choreography section. Did the audio go out there or was it my AirPods? I don't know. Cause sometimes my AirPods will like disconnect sometimes. But I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. The music video was stunning. I'm in love with it. Like it's just like a grungy pastel sort of thing. Reminds me of like Blackpink Stay. Um, and it was just really, really stunning. I just overall loved it. I just, the whole aesthetics I was living for. Like I'm, I'm living for it right now. It was super duper dope. But like insane. I loved it and stuff. It, just, it was just a really cool music video. They don't really go for this sort of aesthetic anymore or like at all. So it was really Really, really dope. Um, love the music video. Editing was great. The part where they're dancing in the rain, very contrasting scene, right? Because yeah, it's more of a neutral sort of color palette for that scene. Um, but that rainfall with the light hitting the water was just stunning and them dancing in the outfits and just everything and the way the lighting was positioned was very interesting, right? Because it's coming from like the back, uh, this side and stuff, the right side of the screen it would be, I think. Um, and it's like coming in hang on this way and it's not something from the front or but it just it looks stunning and I'm absolutely in love with it like that's gonna live right for you in my head for years to come I really loved it and that little part was pretty much the most majority of where the choreography was so I'm very excited to be seeing that 17 music videos have been sort of a less 
focus on the choreography a little bit here and there, like slowly. At least their last Japanese comeback was. So it was very interesting because they are such iconically known and worldwide, globally known as being like the dancing group um, or just like iconic dancing and choreography and self-producing and all that sort of thing. Um, so it's very interesting that it's the music videos now, the last, at least the last comeback wasn't necessarily, for, and it was a Japanese comeback, right? That it wasn't fully focused on the choreography. So I just find that interesting because um, I want to see more of it, but uh, maybe they'll drop a performance music video. They normally don't, right? So it normally it's just like a dance practice. So I'm very excited to be checking this out because that out because I love 17 choreography. It's absolutely amazing. It's considered one of the best for a reason, honestly. Um, so yeah, that'd be very exciting. The song is very, very fun. It's kind of very different from 17. They always come back with something pretty, pretty different in my opinion, unless it was like all of their earlier stuff had like the same sort of but this one has like a dance-esque sort of vibe to it and stuff you know in your feels dance songs you know how they go um, but it was really really dope I really liked it I think they killed the sound I think they killed this comeback and I absolutely loved it everybody was looking gorgeous I loved everybody's hair just loved everything about it and stuff it was it's a really great comeback another great one from 17 you're not gonna get nothing good or you're only gonna get good quality stuff from 17 it's never gonna be bad name a bad 17 comeback because you can't Go to your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about 17's Ready to Love. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go to hit that subscribe button. Go to hit see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or description down below. Or at the end screen, share this video with your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye. Man, I am, I am, I am.